Hey, what's up guys, it's Suda here, and in today's video, I'm doing a question and answer video. I actually asked for questions on Twitter and in the comments of my last YouTube video, so I just picked out some random questions, and I'm gonna answer them here. I like doing these types of videos because it gives me a chance to talk to you guys, and maybe you can get to know me better at the same time. So if my voice sounds all raspy, I was choking on a Cheerio all morning, and now my throat hurts a little bit, but that doesn't matter. I'd like to say thank you guys for 500,000 subscribers, that's a huge number. I know this video is a bit late, but still, I want to say thank you guys again. I really appreciate all the support you guys have been showing me recently, and I'm really glad that you guys enjoy my videos. So I'm just gonna jump in here with the first question. What do you like about YouTube and why? I like how YouTube gives content creators a chance to show their creativity and it can allow them to build an audience for just about anything. Like for me, I like to just make funny videos with my friends and have fun. Like in this gameplay right now, I'm just playing Call of Duty, running around with a baseball bat. You can pretty much find anything you'd possibly want to find on YouTube. Like there's probably videos of people eating, taste testing rocks. You can choose what you want to watch. So when people decide to watch my videos, it really means a lot to me knowing that you could have been watching those rock videos, but you clicked on my video. And I appreciate each and every one of you guys who watch my videos. Maybe one day I'll do a, a rock taste test or something. I mean, I'm open to new things. I'm willing to try everything possible on this channel if you guys want me to. So yeah, I think that answers that question. So on to the next one. What kept your motivation on doing videos while you had few subscribers? When I started on YouTube, I didn't expect people to watch my videos. Creating videos with my friends was something that I had fun doing. I wouldn't have been making videos back then if I didn't enjoy doing it. And all of you guys' support really just motivates me to keep on going. If you woke up in somebody else's body, who would it be and what would you do? If I was to wake up in somebody else's body, I'd probably want to go for somebody tall. So I could do things I couldn't normally do. So right now I'm just thinking Yao Ming. He was a really tall basketball player. He was seven foot six, I think. If I was seven foot six right now, I could probably like uh Actually, I don't think anything would really change if I was an extra foot. It would just be harder to get through doors. I'm actually not sure what being that tall really would help with. Maybe I could, like, go swimming. I'd probably go swimming if I was Yao Ming. That way, I could probably have longer arm strokes and I would move maybe faster. I'd be like the Titanic of swimmers, pretty much. So, yeah, I guess that's what I would do. Not very exciting. Marco asks, if you could have dinner with one person in history, who would it be, dead or alive? I actually thought about this, and I was thinking, what, who's, the, who's the most important person to me? Like, throughout history, who really had the biggest impact on my life and i came to the conclusion that the guy who invented the cowbell is definitely somebody that i'd want to sit down and have dinner with so i mean the cowbell was probably invented about 400 years ago so it would get that guy out of the grave i'd love to bring him back from the dead just to have one meal probably cook up some hot pockets and chocolate milk because that's pretty much all i eat anyways and then after we're done that i guess you just go right back in there and uh yeah i mean i'd, I'd get to talk to a 400 year old man probably that'd be pretty cool actually i mean my second choice would probably be clifford the big red dog i always wanted to meet him as a kid he was a cartoon so it didn't really work out so yeah that answers that question. Ask Suda, what other games do you enjoy and will you be making any videos and other games? Right now, I've been making a lot of Call of Duty videos as you guys have probably noticed in my past couple videos. We've been having a lot of fun playing Call of Duty recently, so that's what we've been doing. We definitely like to start playing other games starting soon. If you guys have any game suggestions, let us know because we're always looking for new things to do. Isk Nuke asks, how did you find your friends? I met most of my friends through playing Xbox. About three years ago-ish, I met Exedius, which is the first person i known from YouTube. Then I met Crispy Tranium, wretched in that order i met everyone else i know pretty much through those guys that's just a brief summary again of how i met the people that i know how old are you and will you ever meet the people you play with in real life i'm 20 i appreciate that you guys ask me how old i am every time i ask for questions if one day i turn like 35 i'll let you guys know but for now i'm probably just gonna stay 20 years old until my 21st birthday so i'm not gonna go behind your guys back and just you know get a lot older i'm gonna stay 20 for now and for the second part of that question will you ever meet the people you play with in real life i've actually made plans to meet exedius next week Week. Exedius lives in Scotland. I live in Canada. I've never left Canada before, but we decided to hang out in Switzerland, which is a completely random country that he happened to have a ski trip booked on. I asked him if I could come just because I thought it'd be cool. I've never been on vacation before. So it was my first time really leaving Canada or even leaving my house. I thought it'd be a good opportunity for me. And plus I could hang out with Exedius, you know, maybe ski a little bit, hopefully not die. I'm going to be editing while I'm there. So hopefully I'll have a video for you guys in Switzerland. If I do die in Switzerland, it probably will happen because I've never skied before. I'm probably going to break both my legs, but that's, that's fine. I'll have somebody upload it for me if I'm not able to. This should be the first time I'm ever meeting somebody who I do YouTube with. I do want to meet my other friends, so hopefully that can happen sometime soon as well. Mario asks, how can you help me make a YouTube channel as a beginner, please? One of the things you'll need when you make a YouTube channel is an avatar. I've noticed a lot of people in the comments don't have an avatar yet, so the little blue guy right there. What I'm going to do here is I'm going to help you guys get an avatar if you guys don't have one already. I'm going to start it with something basic. Here we have our blue guy. I'm just going to spice it up a bit. You want to put the glasses on him. He's going to have to have facial features, so we're going to put some facial features on him right there. He's going to need hair or she. I think this hair works for both. Uh, that should be good. Now we have the hair and the facial features. The guy's still naked, so he's probably going to need some clothes. Here's a sweater vest. Now he's not completely naked. <laughs> There's no neck at all, so I'm not sure what's going to go there. I have options for glasses here. We got these big glasses. I think these might be a bit more cool. Let's switch them out. Now they got the glasses on the 
the hair, they're looking pretty good. Sideburns. I'm just going to stretch these out so it fits the face. And that seems to also come with a mouth, so that's good. If you guys want to use this picture, I'll put a link in the description. It's better than a default YouTube avatar, at least, so it's the first step. Now you've got your own avatar guy. How you make funny video, because I have a YouTube channel and in bed help. But one of the things you need to do if you want to make videos is you probably want to get out of bed. And to make the videos, you'd probably want to get some sort of recording device, like a camera, a flip phone, whatever you need to record. How long does it take you to make a video? I don't normally talk about the process of editing. I feel like the editing process is something that I should just do and you guys shouldn't have to worry about. I would consider myself a perfectionist, so it takes me an average longer time than it would take somebody else to make the same video, probably. I make the videos the way that I like them, so however much time that takes, I'm willing to spend. I just need to make sure that I'm okay with the video before I post it. If you guys would like, I could go more into detail on how I make my videos, if that's something you guys would be interested in. Wendy Birio says, uh, I pooped myself at 3.55. I'm not sure what happened or what video this was even on. And at 7.27, we get a new update from Wendy. Apparently, Wendy has peed a little. 7.58, I peed a lot. Okay, Wendy, we get it. You're in the bathroom. You don't have to tell us specifically what you're doing in there. Please spare us the updates of what's going on in there. Jose Torres asks, if you were the last man on earth, what would you do? I think what I would do is I would do the exact same thing I'm doing right now. I would just make YouTube videos. Even if there's nobody to watch, I'll just make it for myself. For all I know, I am the last man alive right now and nobody's watching this video. But if you're alive, let me know. Albert B says, my name is Alex. Something seems a bit fishy here, but I'm just gonna give him the benefit of the doubt. Maybe his last name is Alex and that B in his name is a silent B. And if you guys didn't know, my name is Alex as well. I prefer the name Suda, which is actually part of my real name. Some people might think it's weird that I'm, I don't go by my first name. If I went by bookshelf and my real name was Tyler Smith, then that might be kind of weird just being called bookshelf. So that's why I go by I'm Suda because I am I'm Suda. What has your better trick shot? You, if you haven't one better, just try to do one trick shot better than you can. You the best. P.S. I love you. Thank you, Fabrico. I'm not sure what that question said, but I read it out without making a mistake, so I guess that is good enough. I got a lot of questions asking if I could play Club Penguin again, so I thought I'd tweet out a poll on which game I should play. Club Penguin 1, of course. So I'm gonna be playing Club Penguin again. All right, here's my Penguin, Tyrone Wenzel. I'm just gonna load this up real quick. Whoa, this music. All right, we're back here on Club Penguin, probably one of the greatest places on Earth. I figured out how to add the chat, so now I can type things like, hey. Xyz has a Club Penguin account as well, so I'm gonna play with Xyz. Are you this white penguin? Yes. Let's go to someone's igloo. Okay. Oh, oh, Cupcake over here. I'm saying Cupcake, we are going to your igloo. Yes, she's done. All right, go to Cupcake's igloo. I hide, hide, hide. <laughs> it can hide in a huge dinosaur. <laughs> oh, Cupcake's here. This is a robbery. Put your hands up. Oh, he said get out. Put your hands up. <laughs> <laughs> this is my house. No, it's not. Is she going to kick us out or something? I think they can. We will report you. Annabelle's trying to... He's stunning me. <laughs> I'm just wandering around. This is a robbery. Stay calm. <laughs> I just never leave this person's house. <laughs> <laughs> For like two days straight. Just <laughs> we'll be here like 24 hours. <laughs> yeah. I just start dancing. Wait, let's do it at the same time. Wait. <laughs> this is my house now. <laughs> 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 I'm not adopting you anymore. What the hell? Oh my god, what's going on here? This is some serious role playing. <laughs> it's like 10 minutes now. Oh, oh where are we? What it's my house. <laughs> it's so stupid. Picks up. Are they, what are they picking up? I don't know why people are role playing though. It's so weird. Gets away? What? Oh Who's god. They're straight? actually captioning what they're doing. It's so weird. <laughs> Clicking someone else on the Ooh. screen. Tackle? She just said tackles. Oh my god. Oh no. Grabs hair. Oh my oh. gosh. This this is getting rough. <laughs> this is getting kinky. Grabs shirt. No. Oh my. Oh. <laughs> Grabs hat. Oh, this, this is getting intense right here. Grabs Ooh. arm. Oh, and rough. Pushes, Pushes off. off. He's resisting. I think called rape. Police. Yeah. It's rape. <laughs> <laughs> He's resisting. That's rape right there. Yeah, that's just rape. We should call the police. Nine one one. There was a uh, rape on Club Penguin. <laughs> 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 Wait. Oh, I can't type anymore. No! Why not? I said rape and they can't let me- they don't let me type anymore. <laughs> <laughs> that is so weird though. Like, what are these people doing? Yeah, this, this stuff actually goes on. He needs to report us to the police, the authority. These people need to be stopped. Oh, yeah, she should- Calling train him. <laughs> <laughs> these people can't be stopped. <laughs> oh, they left. Oh, shit. Let's go after them. Wanna play a game of Connect Four? Yeah. Just join this. Is that you? P three two two four seven. Yeah, that's me. I'm putting Connect Four gameplay in my Q and A video. This is an intense game right here. This is where it all comes down to. I am joined here in the commentary booth by none other than you were talking to me off air earlier mm -hmm. you said no four days of this tournament are ever the same how hungry is he right I, now? i think he's got the passion back he's uh he's poised he's ready he's alert bring out a spot yeah <laughs> it's probably gonna go on forever 
Oh, no, it's not. Oh, uh, fucking ass! <laughs> <laughs> We're getting so mad over Connect 4. <laughs> what can we even do anymore? No, there's nothing to do anymore. I've, I've done everything in Club Penguin. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If there's any questions I didn't get to, this guy probably answered them. Thank you, Volts, for letting everybody know. Some of the stuff on here I didn't even know about myself, so thank you. If you guys want to follow me on Twitter, it's at I'm Suda. I usually post, like, updates on there. And when I'm in Switzerland, I'll probably post pictures. I want to say thank you guys again for 500,000 subscribers. That's halfway to a million. I'm not sure what I would do for a million subscribers, but that's something that I have to look forward to. Thank you guys for watching, and I'll see you guys in the next video.